Hi, I like programming and I like Pokemon, so I decided to create an AI that automatically levels up my Pokemon to the max level before the first gym in Pokemon Fire Red. Although, saying it's an AI might be considered clickbait. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would you do this? Well, you see, the reason's actually quite simple. Lately, I've been watching a YouTuber called Small Ant one He mostly plays Nintendo games, but with like a certain challenge that he adds to it. And a particular video caught my mind, his beating Pokemon Platinum without taking a single point of damage challenge. Basically, how the challenge goes is that you have to get perfect RNG on your first rival battle when you do your starter versus starter. And then after that, it's basically just a lot of grinding, so that way your Pokemon can just one-shot everything in the entire game. You just keep grinding over and over again the next area, so you can start one-shotting everything, so on and so forth. So after watching that video, I thought, you know what? I could do that, but I don't have to do all the grinding. Instead, I'll just create a Python script that does all the grinding for me. And now, two weeks later, I want to kill my- Also, one more thing before we move on to the genocide of millions of Rattatas and Pidgeys. Um, I've never used Python before. Now you might be thinking, why would you ever do this in a language that you've never used before? And the answer is actually really simple. I don't know. Since I've never used Python before, I'm going to need to rely on a skill that I've been using since I started programming, which is stealing code from the internet. So how are we going to get Python to auto-level my Pokemon? Well, I'm going to need to first explain how game states work in Pokemon. No, but seriously, it's actually really simple. There's the player state where you control your player in the overworld, and then there's the battle state where you control your Pokemon battling other Pokemon. So we need Python to be able to tell the difference between the two different states of the game because it's going to need to be able to do different things depending on what state the game is in. Now in order to do that, we're basically just going to have Python read the part of the screen that the game is on. Also because I've never used Python before, I thought I had all the libraries installed, and it turns out I didn't. So I had to go install some more libraries. Alright, now that all the libraries are installed, I can now run the script and, it, and it'll work and it'll read like the top left portion of my screen. Now all we have to do is put the emulator in the top left portion of the screen and everything should be fine. Alright, awesome. Now that Python can read our game, what can we do with this? Well, nothing currently. Basically what's happening is that Python is creating and reading in 10 frames every second from like the part of the screen that it's trying to read. And those images that it's taking in, there's too much going on. There's too much noise happening. So what we need to do is that we need to be able to edit down the image and make it so there's less noise happening in the image so the Python script has an easier time reading it and being able to determine what to do from there. All right, now we just need Python to be able to control the game. At first, I tried using PyAutoGui, but that one worked because the timings were weird. So instead, I decided to use the Stack Overflow script that I found through some Googling. All right, so now that Python's able to move our character, there's a few things that it's going to be able to do. First, we're going to need it to be able to find Pokemon in tall grass, then we're going to be able to fight that Pokemon, and third, we're going to need it to be able to heal our Pokemon when it runs out of PP, and then return back to the tall grass, and then just loop through it over and over and over again. There's a couple other small things like what happens when a Pokemon needs to learn a move, or what happens when a Pokemon starts evolving. And so my answer for those very small things were just to ignore it, and then not do anything about it. Alright, we can see, and we can move. Now all that's left to do is set up some logic and then go kill a bunch of Pokemon. And honestly, I could go through like how I set it up, but it's just basically, I go kill some Pokemon, then I go heal, then I go kill more Pokemon. And it just keeps going on like that. So instead of showing any of that off, I'm just, you know, gonna go kill a bunch of Pokemon. Or I guess technically I'm not the one killing it, the program is, but you get the idea.
so you may have noticed that there was a couple times where the player character got misaligned and I had to go manually fix him. And this is mostly due to the timings on how the script is written, and I've tried adjusting it, but in general it like works 99% of the time, but there's that 1% of the time where it won't work, so it's just kind of how it is. And if you're wondering if I actually did get to this point in time in the game without taking a single bit of damage, I did, and I did have to reset a couple times. So there you have it. I mostly ended up doing this small project because I wanted to learn how to use Python, because I've never used it before. And there's not really much else to it, so uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.